Okay, we are live. So let me turn. Let me. I can't turn it around now, can I? All right. So we are here for the movie of the month, Joker review. Um, I'm gonna save my review for last. Natalie was really excited. Tell us what she thought about that movie. Oh look. Oh, there she is. Hello. I'm, I'm a little traumatized. Traumatized. Yes, okay. How so? Um. Well. There was nothing happy about that movie. It was literally just sad and terrible. So, so like you have to be at least at least ten to watch that movie, or is that a kids movie? I think I... I'm too young to watch that movie. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if you get one low, ten high, what do you give it? Uh, it's I okay. would say like a one. A it's one. Awful. This wow. is the first. Hey, this is the first movie of the month history ever to get a one. Good congratulations! You won a prize. Yay! <laughs> All right. Twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> let's turn this around. All right, no, Carrie. No. What do you got? Give that was take. a really, really hard movie for me to rate. Um, yeah. I want to say like it's kind of like one of those American History X movies where you like it's a good movie, but by saying it's a good movie, you look like a terrible person. Yeah. So. Okay. So, what'd you like about it then? Um. The music and the dancing was great. Uh, the craziness was great. I don't want to give away a lot here. So if I had to rate the movie, um, hey, if they're watching it, they're they're getting the spoiler review. So I would say a seven, a solid a seven. Seven. Wow. A solid okay. Seven. All right. All right. Okay. I think it was uncomfortable and gritty. <laughs> But uh, I thought it was really well done, and as a rating, I would probably give it an eight, just for the level of, well, I guess how you relate to the villain, like you almost like are rooting for him because, well, not rooting for him, I don't want to sound like a psycho. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you really feel his pain. You're Danny, not a psycho. <laughs> uh, I love he had it. a painful life. Yeah, for sure. I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved the cinematography, how it felt like you were in Gotham in the 1980s and really like came alive like that. And I loved how they made the Joker. He didn't cause the chaos. He was like a virus. And chaos just spread out around him without trying. It was really cool. Except that he like, did kill. I mean. Shit. Sure. Hey, eight and a half. Killing people. Eight and a half out of ten. Maybe. You don't know. Hey. Just so you know, in this movie, there is death. All right, all right, <laughs> moving along. Not Thank you. Thank you. John and Jackie, hello. I would give it a six, although I think I'm going to be thinking about that movie for like a long time. Is it one of those? Yeah, but I thought he was an unreliable narrator. Like, there's so much of the movie that I was like, I don't think that's really happening. And then you got some of it where you're like, oh, that really was in his head. But so much of the movie, I was like, I don't... I think a lot of that actually happened. Like you don't know what's real. And they, they never really answered like what was real and what wasn't. Sure. So. True fact. All right, John. I give it a nine. Oh, nine. I'm a oh, big, I'm a big fan. High score. I'm a big DC <laughs> Comics fan. It was hard to watch at the beginning. Like I didn't actually care that much about him. But at the end, I was like, that's that's a joker. Yeah. And that was cool. I yeah. thought that was... Could he use more Joker? Like yeah. staying true. Arthur. Like it took a while to get there, right? Yeah, it took a while to get there, but at the end, I was like, that's probably one of the best. Like, it, it rivals the Heath Ledger Joker at the end. Oh, he rivals the Heath Ledger Joker. Just Ricky, he... you hear that? Ricky Borba, eat your heart out. He gave it a nine. There you go. I did too, but it was just the... Rival the Heath... the last scene. The last scenes... Yeah, it, it definitely it definitely took a while to get to that last scene, but then at the last scene you're like, yeah, that is good. Yeah. All right, all right, my lovely wife. Hello. I'm like eight and a half, borderline nine for this Whoa. movie. I thought it was so good. It that's, was that's it was surprising. some of the best character development I have seen in so long, and. The, the whole storyline of the whole movie just speaks to our culture, so I won't let it get too deep, but it was a pretty deep movie. So, hate spreads hate, boom. But it was it was literally, the, like you said, like the end scenes, you're like, it all made sense, and you're like, that is the Joker. So yes, like Heath Ledger has always been my favorite Joker, and at the end of the movie, it was like, it just brought the Joker to life, so you f you feel bad because he is a product of 
the society around him and how they yeah. treated him, and it wasn't fair and it wasn't kind, but that happens in our everyday life. We, we see that in our society. So, Moral anyways, of the story, don't be crazy. Don't, don't be mean. Part. Don't be mean to people. Because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Go watch it. All right. Mr. Rebello. The up? Rebello. That's Eric me. EricRebello.com.org. Hello. <laughs> Actually, I do have both. So I yeah. know. All right, what do you... Oh, I'm already, like, thinking of, like, thoughts about this movie. Um, <laughs> Eric, and say, I, Eric and I looked at each other at the end and we're like, that was like, dark. Whoa. <laughs> like, that was, the, that was one of the darkest films I've seen, like, in my whole entire life. And I think the guy, Todd Phillips, who directed the movie, did a good job with making it dark. Um, I would say that if you look at the stuff in the news about this movie, what they're fearing is that mentally ill people are gonna see the Joker as like an idol and they're gonna do bad things. That's what yeah. they've been saying in the news. I halfway believe that because that's kind of how people's psychology works. But at the same time, it is a good um, artistic concept of someone that has all those kind of trauma and everything like that. So like, uh, like Vanessa said, I think good character development. But if you can't stomach a dark movie, don't watch it. Uh, I'm not going to give it a score. I would say personally go watch it if you can handle that stuff. If you can't, then, <laughs> then don't watch it and just see what they're talking about in like news articles and things, and you'll get the, the concept of the movie. If that makes concept. sense. Concepts. We're speaking concepts, y'all. Concepts. All right, so check it out. I will say that this movie was. Carrie, hello. He's in the house. I will say that this movie was extremely dark. When I say dark, I mean, he's right. Eric is like, it's one of the darkest movies I've seen. It started out, like, I really feel like if a movie can make you feel uncomfortable throughout the movie, and like, uncomfortable for the actor just playing this part, uncomfortable for the person in the movie, the people in the movie, the people in the theater, I started to feel awkward, like, with the people in the theater. Like, then you know the movie's doing something. And so I knew coming into this movie, people had told me, it's dark, this is depressing, like I get that. So if you come into the movie expecting that, I think it's worth a watch if you grew up, you know, with Joker. It's, it, the movie ends up ex where you expect the Joker to be. The movie itself, I didn't love, but the cinematography, the character development, like I'm always complaining about a lot of movies that don't have any character development, right? And then you have the movies that have too much. I feel like this one had a little too much character development, but by the end of the story, you're like, that's the Joker. So uh, overall, if I were to put the movie as a whole, I'd probably say a six out of 10. I wasn't in love with it uh, by any means. Um, but, uh, and it's not, nothing I would ever let my kids watch. Uh, but if you, are, if you like character development movies and you like the Joker, it's probably worth watching. Anyways, you guys have an amazing night, and uh, we'll see you next month.